Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone! Hello! Welcome to Voices of the Ancestors. We just wanted to take a moment today, we're here in Tbilisi, uh, just to tell you more about ourselves. We've released 10 episodes now. Yay! <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to give you an update on the project and how you could help us make it more sustainable for the future. So, if you don't know us, I'm Susan. And I'm Holly. And we have a shared passion for Georgian polyphonic songs. Uh, that's Georgia in the Caucasus Mountains. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we love this ancient folk music. Um, and we're really curious to hear the voices of the women who sing them. So, we started the podcast, Voices of the Ancestors. It might sound niche, but Georgian songs are loved by people all over the world mm -hmm. and our guests are women from America, Georgia, the UK, France, wherever singers have fallen for Georgian songs mm -hmm. and we try to tell the stories behind the songs. So my story started, well, more than 20 years ago. I took my daughters on a holiday to Centre Park, especially so I could be near to Norwich and go to a workshop and learn directly from a Georgian teacher, Edisha Garikanidze. Oh. <laughs> and that experience, well, it just made me want to learn more. So, so I looked up Maspinzelli, and they're a, a choir in London that only sing Georgian songs. And I travelled with them to Georgia many times and learnt songs from so many teachers. And basically it led to today, when I'm here on, what, my 18th trip to wow. Georgia? <laughs> and each visit has nourished and developed my networks with singers, both in Georgia and internationally. Uh, seems like my life path has led to this moment. <laughs> this project, when I'm able to be in Georgia, and despite COVID, I can call upon all those contacts and friends and bring stories to you, with Holly, my co-host. <laughs> Uh, so I'm a 26-year-old creative from Oxford. I'm an actor and a theatre maker as well as a singer. And I discovered Georgian songs when I was training with a theatre company in Poland called Gardzianice. And that inspired me to go to Georgia and learn as much as I could about these magical songs. Then I graduated from drama school in the UK and my practical dissertation was actually on Georgian songs with the help of some singers from Maspinzelli Choir. And since then I've just been putting all my time and energy into learning and singing these songs and being in Georgia as much as possible. Um, obviously the pandemic closed theatres and made being an actor pretty difficult. So I've put my energy into creating the podcast, <laughs> which makes me very happy. And, you know, when you find something you truly enjoy and you're curious about it and you become really passionate about it, you just can't stop doing that thing. And that's what's happened to us. <laughs> but that means we have to be creative about our funds, our time and our energy. Surprisingly, making a podcast costs money. Mm -hmm. There's the hosting sites, the software, the equipment, not to mention all the time we spend on it. Yeah, at the beginning we just used all the free trials we could until we had to invest in ourselves for the long term. And now, here we are, we've just released our 10th episode. Yay! <laughs> so pretty good investment, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> and now we've got a really active community on Ko-fi, who help us so, so thank you, you. <laughs> thanks to all our monthly subscribers you know who you are and thanks to people like our friends Derek and Jen for spreading the podcast on their social media channels and by word of mouth it really helps we are currently completely independent we just rely on our listener donations to keep the podcast running it can look like we're having a lot of fun which we are, <laughs> but you know, following the stories of the songs, it takes time, it takes energy, being in the right place at the right time. Oh yeah, so for Nana's episode 10, that involved two five-hour train journeys, and also getting the story right, making sure it comes across in the right way, that we're not mm. misleading our listeners. That takes time and focus and knowledge to be authentic. And there are the less glamorous moments too. 
at the laptop late at night trying to <laughs> hit the release deadline <laughs> or when we need to meet people in different continents and we just have to get up really early or stay up late to meet them when they're awake. Mm -hmm. I think it's safe to say you and I are learning something new pretty much every day oh, we make yeah. the podcast. So now we're learning how to make it sustainable energetically, creatively and financially. Yeah. We know this is what we want to do. It's a long-term project. We have goals and we don't know where this crazy path will lead. And we're happy with that. Yeah. This country is full of women who sing. Mm -hmm. We're not going to run out anytime soon. Oh, no. <laughs> so don't worry. Your money will be put to good use. And every little helps, mm -hmm. whether that's three pounds a month or a one-off donation of a hundred or two hundred quid, <laughs> your gift will bring more stories to more listeners. And the best way you can support us right now is at ko-fi.com forward slash voices of the ancestors. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.